Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to show you how I was able to request my FBI Identity History Summary Check from outside the US. I'm based in France right now and I need my criminal records basically from the US because I need it as one of my requirements to uh, submit my application for French citizenship because I am a spouse of a French national. So a little bit of an overview, I am not a US citizen. I just resided in France for five years um, under a student visa. So my requirement for my French citizenship application requires for me to obtain criminal records from all of the countries I've resided in for the past 10 years. So that includes the US in my case. So it's a very easy um, four-step process. In my case, I've opted for an electronic application. You can also, of course, apply um, directly to the FBI if you have relatives um, in the U.S. who can send those in for you. You can do that. Mm -hmm. But um, I opted for the electronic one in my case because based on my research, it seems to be, be, um, be a faster process for the electronic versions, especially during this um, pandemic. So the first step would be online application. There is already a website um, dedicated to just requesting for this specific document. And it's actually very detailed step by step. So I recommend for you to read through this just to get an idea of all of the processes. But in my case, all I did was under option one, steps one and two. So the first step, like it says here, is to do your online application on this link. And basically, you're just going to enter your email here, click on submit, and it's going to direct you to an online form that you need to complete. It's very basic information about you, so you don't need to really prepare anything ahead of time. Just make sure, of course, you have your social security number um, ready when, you, when you're filling up the form. After you fill up the form, you're going to be asked to, of course, submit a payment. And at the same time, you're going to receive an email um, confirming your request and you will now go to the next step. The next step is the fingerprinting or collecting your fingerprints. Um, I spent quite some time researching about this because I had some uncertainties. uncertainties sorry. Um, first was about the paper. So the form for you to obtain your fingerprints is available on the FBI's website as well. But I wasn't sure if it should be in a normal um, or regular paper stock or do I have to use a special paper that is a bit a bit harder or do they do I also have to get the actual form because I see I saw that they were also selling it in Amazon so I wasn't sure in the very beginning but um, I just went on for a regular paper stock and I got um, approved so that's something you can also follow and then in terms of the ink on the fingerprint um, do I need a special kind of ink? Is there some place I can buy that if that is the case? I also wasn't sure, but I went for the best thing I could find, which is just a typical, a very basic um, stamp pad. I don't know if you, that's how you call it, ink pad um, from Amazon. So it's very reasonably priced. It's only five euros around that price. And this um, one pack or one item already lasted me for... Um, I think I submitted around six forms, six sets of fingerprints, just to be sure. And I also did some practice before I did um, finally run my fingerprints. Now, once you have all of your um, fingerprinting tools ready, you can go ahead and start um, your, your fingerprinting process. You just print the form, fill in the information on the top part and then your fingerprints will be at the bottom section. There's also um, a step and guideline page on the second part of this document so please read through that as well because there are some specific acronyms that you need to um, use for some of the fields on the top section. 
As for the fingerprinting, um, it's a bit tricky because it's not your typical fingerprint that you just, you know, stamp right away. It has to be what they call rolling fingerprint or rolled fingerprint. Um, and if you want to know how to do or capture those kind of fingerprints, there are so many videos on YouTube that you can find available on the specificities of it. So you can um, look through that. I did the same thing. But my recommendation is to not stress out about it. Just really do some practices, um, a couple of practices before you finally go to your form. And like I said, fill in. They recommend you submit two sets of fingerprints. Um, but I did submit six because I wanted to be sure that at least one of them would be the right capturing. So you can do the same thing. They didn't say anything about my six, um, six pages. So um, just to be sure. And once that's all ready, you just need to submit the form plus the email confirmation that you received to the address that is also given to you in the email address. So you just mail all of those things. And maybe just to give you an idea in terms of timeline, um, when I did my online application, I paid the same day. And then after two days, that's when I processed the fingerprinting. Um, I sent it... Um, via a typical a regular mail I didn't even express mail it but what I saw was it only took them two days to get back to me that was two days from the time they received it because I was tracking the mail as well so when I already um, received the notification that it arrived in the destination in the FBI office after two days I, I received an email saying my results are already available and the first thing you're gonna get is just an online version or electronic version of your results and you are going to receive a soft or sorry a hard copy in your mail it took the mail the hard copy to arrive in my mailbox about three or four weeks um, but make sure you click on the tick box in the online application if you would like to receive the hard copy because by default they're only going to send you the soft copy and then that's pretty much it um, you f finally have your FBI IDHS HSC and what I did in my case I also needed to authenticate the document before I can use it here in France um, so if you'd like to know how to authenticate while you're outside the US as well feel free to follow my channel and I will be posting that video very soon thanks again I hope this was helpful you guys have a great day